Okay, so as you guys know today, we are working on dividing fractions and mixed numbers. I'd like you to have the objective at the top of page 26. A couple of quick notes before we do examples. Keeping that idea in mind of keep, change, flip. It's a nice little rhyme that helps you remember it. But really what's happening is when we are dividing, we are multiplying by the reciprocal. So dividing is multiplying by the reciprocal, which is why when we're dividing fractions, we can use the keep, change, flip to help us remember. So we're going to start with some examples. Uh, first one is going to be 3 sevenths divided by 2 fifths. We're going to rewrite this, and we can use the equal sign because it's the same problem. We're going to keep the 3 sevenths, change the symbol to multiplication, and flip the second fraction because we're dividing really by multiplying the reciprocal. And this is the reciprocal of 2 fifths. Reciprocal is the flipped fraction. Okay. And then we can just use our rules that we used before. We're just going to multiply straight across. 3 times 5 is 15. 7 times 2 is 14. And we can leave it in that form, or we can turn it into a mixed number. I'm going to do this example because sometimes there's a little bit of confusion if we're multiply or we're dividing a fraction by a whole number. What do we do? We have to remember that there's an invisible one underneath this, and then we can do our keep change flip. We're going to keep three eighths. We're going to change the symbol to a multiplication, and we're going to flip. 12 to be its reciprocal of 1 12th. And remember our little shortcut when we're multiplying, we can look for reducing it before we multiply. When I see a 3 in the numerator and a 12 in the denominator, I want to rewrite this 12 as 3 times 4. And then I can reduce it by taking away these 3s before I multiply. And I'm going to get 1 over 32. Again, that's one method. You could go ahead and just multiply these and reduce them, but what you would reduce them by is dividing the 3 thirds out after anyway. So it's really the same um, action. It's just dependent on which when you do it, before or after you multiply. Okay, I have some mixed numbers here. So let's just draw a line to keep them a little separate. That keep change flip still works, but we can't multiply by the reciprocal until we've turned the mixed fractions into improper fractions. So let's first just rewrite this. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 2 would be 17 over 3. And then I'm going to change this into an improper fraction. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So there's just that additional step where we have to convert these from mixed numbers to improper fractions. Then we can do keep, change, flip so that we can multiply by the reciprocal. And I'm looking at this to see if there's anything I can reduce by. Mm -hmm. And I don't see anything. And yes, I will let you guys use calculators when you're doing these because the 
multiplication isn't the big deal, it's the practicing the division of fractions. We end up with 68 over 15, and we can leave it that way, or uh, I know there's four 15s in 60, so it's going to be 4 and 8 tenths. 15th. Fifteen. Uh, 15th, thank you. Because I was about to reduce that, and I can't reduce 8 15ths. Perfect. Okay. You will also see problems where the first number is a fraction and maybe only the second number is a mixed number. So we have to only convert the second one. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So I'm going to write that just above it. And now I can do keep change flip. 3 fourths times 2 over 5. I do see something I can reduce before I multiply here. This 2 and this 4 look like they're going to be able to do something, right? Mm -hmm. If I'm going to change this 4 to its factors of 2 times 2, I can cross off one of those 2's to go with this one. And then I end up with 3 over 10. Okay, you might encounter a negative in this today. Let's try negative 5 and 5 eighths divided by 5 ninths. We're going to convert this mixed number into an improper fraction. So 8 times 5 is 40, plus 5 is 45. So we end up with negative 45 over 8. So we're keeping this, we're changing our symbol, and we're flipping our reciprocal of the second fraction. I see some potential for reducing here. That 45 and 5 can be reduced. So if I change this to 9 times 5, I can reduce the 5s before I multiply. Nine times nine then is 81 over eight, and I can leave it in that form, or we can say it's 10 and one eighth. But we have to go back and remember this was negative, this was negative, so keep in mind that triangle. This is a negative, and our ne this is a negative, so we have to keep that in there. Our answer would be negative because we started off with a negative divided by a positive. And when we do keep change flip, we still have a negative multiplied by a positive, and those rules are still the same. Okay? On your contract today, we're doing numbers 28 to 44. And again, feel free to use calculators. Keep track of positive negative rules. And remember, keep change flip only works because when we're dividing, we're multiplying by the reciprocal. And that's always the case, not just with fractions.